is dead. I want to begin with Russia's war against Ukraine, which Russia. is now in its third year. Former President Trump, Russian President Vladimir Putin really says listen. he'll only end this war if Russia keeps the Ukrainian territory it has already claimed and Ukraine abandons its bid to join NATO. Are Putin's terms acceptable to you? First of all, our veterans and our soldiers can't stand this guy. They can't stand him. They think he's the worst <laughs> commander in chief of that's what you call him that we've ever had. They can't stand him. So let's get that straight. And they like me more than just about any of them. That, and that's based what on about the question? a bit of information. As far oh, as I'd liven up Ukraine, a bit. If we had a real president, uh, a president that knew the United Crumbs click uh, kick it in. He would have never he would have never invaded Ukraine. Oh, oh no, he's frozen now, again. Now, much more than people know. You know, they talk about numbers. You can double those numbers, maybe triple those numbers. He did nothing to stop it. In fact, I think he encouraged Russia from going in. I'll tell you what happened. He was so bad with Afghanistan. It was such a horrible, embarrassment, what? most embarrassing moment in the history of our country that when Whoa. Putin watched that and he did you hear the, the question, country, he should have fired those generals like I fired the one that you mentioned. And so he's got no love lost, uh, but he should have fired those generals. No <laughs> general got fired for the most just, embarrassing just moment in the history the of our country, Afghanistan, <laughs> where we left billions of dollars of equipment behind. We Holy lost 13 fuck. beautiful soldiers and 38 soldiers were <laughs> obliterated. And by the way, we left people behind, too. We left American citizens behind. When Putin saw that, he said, you He's know, what? Afghanistan. I think we're going to go in and maybe take my this was his dream. I talked to him about it, his dream. The difference is he never would have invaded Ukraine. Never. Just like Israel would have never been invaded in a million years by Hamas. You know why? Because Iran was Hamas. broke with me. I wouldn't let anybody do business with them. They ran out of money. They were broke. They had no money for Hamas. The they Charlie. had no money for anything. No money for I like how America blatantly no brags about the how they administration. use this the financial the system is for their own means. President Biden. I've never heard so much malarkey in my whole life. Look, the <laughs> malarkey. Where, let's take the last one first. <laughs> Iran attacked American troops, killed, uh, caused brain damage for a number of these troops, and he did nothing about it. Recently, I need subtitles when he speaks. Here they attacked. He said they're just having headaches. That's all it is. But he didn't do a thing when the attack took place, number one. Number two. We got over 100,000 Americans and others out of, of uh, Afghanistan during that airlift. Number three, we found ourselves in a situation where if you take a look at what Trump did in Ukraine, he, this guy told Ukraine, he told Trump, do whatever you want and do whatever you want. And that's exactly what Trump did. What? I can't understand what he, what he said. What? I need fucking uh, uh, closed captioning and or subtitles. Remember? Because it's part of the old Soviet Union. That's what he wanted to reestablish. Key. And Union. he, in fact, didn't do it at all. He didn't, wasn't able to get it done. And they've lost over, they've lost thousands and thousands. Can America do anything without to. fucking President throwing in some I hate communism? I just want to Can they do anything at all? Question, no. Honest question. question. Can you bring up Soviet terms Union? acceptable to you? Because that's how down bad they are. They're not acceptable. But look, no, this is a war that never should have started. If we had a leader in this war, he led everybody along. He's given $200 billion Rumbles back. to Ukraine. He's given $200 billion. That's a lot of money. I don't think there's ever been anything like it. Every time that Zelensky comes to this I country, he works away with $60 billion. He's the greatest Ooh. salesman ever. And I'm not knocking him. This I'm is not so bad. Anything. I'm only saying he's, the money that we're spending on this war, and we shouldn't be spending, it should have never happened. I will have that war All right. between Putin and Zelensky as president-elect, before I take office on January 20th, I'll have that war settled. People being killed so needlessly, so stupidly, and I will get it settled, and I'll get it settled fast before I take office. You, know, Biden, you have a minute. The fact is that Putin is a war criminal. He's killed thousands and thousands of people. 
And he has you made have one too. thing clear. So have you. He wants the piece of shit. What was part of the Soviet Empire, not just a piece. He wants all of Ukraine. That's Soviet Empire mean. again. Do you think again. He'll stop there. Do you think he'll stop when There's he? There's no evidence Putin be, wants a Soviet Ukraine? Empire again. What do you think happens to Poland? What do you think of Belarus? What do you think happens to those NATO countries? And so, if you want a war, no, nah, he wouldn't be that based. Oh. If in fact he does what he says and walks yeah, away, yeah, he doesn't want World War Three with NATO. All that money we give Ukraine or from weapons we make here in the United States, we give them the weapons, not the money at this point. And, the, and our NATO allies have produced as much funding for Ukraine as we have. That's why it's, that's why we're strong. Thank you. Moving we're on strong. to the Middle East. In October, Hamas attacked Israel, killing more than a thousand people and taking hundreds of hostages. Among those held and thought to still no, be alive Israel are five talk. Americans. Israel's response has killed thousands of Palestinians and created a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. President Biden, you've put forward a, a proposal to resolve this conflict. But so far, Hamas has not released the remaining hostages, and Israel is continuing its military offensive in Gaza. So what additional leverage will you use to get Hamas and Israel to end the war? You have two minutes. Number one. Everyone, Here we go. The United Nations Security Council, <laughs> the G7, to the Israelis, and Netanyahu himself have endorsed the plan they put forward. Endorsed the plan they put forward, which has three stages to it. The first stage is trade the hostages for a ceasefire. Second phase is a ceasefire with additional conditions. The third phase is no, the end of the war. The only one who wants the war to continue is Hamas. What is this like, underpants gnomes? And, uh, Just the war ends after that? From To get them to accept. In the meantime, what's happened? In Israel, we're finding that the only thing I've denied Israel was 2,000-pound bombs. They don't work That's in right. populated areas. I call it. Not even that. I, I call it. The They're going to fight over who's better at doing a genocide. Let's fucking go. Uh -huh. the world this is the part that's going to get me angry, probably. In a kind of yeah. ballistic missile attack on Israel. No one was hurt. No one Israeli was accidentally killed, and it just stopped. We saved Israel. We are the biggest pr pr producer of support for Israel. <laughs> and, and so that's, there, there are two different things. Hamas cannot be allowed to be continued. We continue to send our experts and our intelligence Sorry. people as to how they can get Hamas like we did bin Laden. You don't have to do it. And by the way, they've been greatly weakened, Hamas. Greatly weakened, and they should be. They should be no, eliminated. They haven't. But no mention for, for what you of the Hamas. fucking Palestinians at support. all. At all. At all. Just going back to Ukraine for one second. We have an ocean <laughs> separating us. You cockies. Together. You fucking suck. Spent a hundred billion or maybe more than that, less than us. Why doesn't he call them and say, you got to put up your money like I did with NATO? I got them to put up hundreds of billions of dollars. The secretary general of hundreds NATO said of Trump billions. did the most incredible job I've ever seen. You wouldn't, they wouldn't have any. They were going out of business. We were spending almost 100 percent of the money was, it was paid by us. He didn't do that. He's getting all you got to ask these people to put up the money. We're over a hundred billion dollars more spent and it has a bigger impact on them because of location, because we have an ocean in between. You got to ask them as far as Israel and and Hamas. Israel is the one that wants to go. He said the only one who wants to keep going is Hamas. Actually, Israel is the one. And you should let him go and let him finish the job. He doesn't want to do it. He's uh, become see, like he a Palestinian. Job, but they don't like him because he's a very bad Palestinian. He's a weak one. <laughs> President Biden, you have a minute. I've never heard so much foolishness. This is a guy who wants to get out of NATO. You're going to stay in NATO? He's going to pull out of NATO. The idea that he we have pull out of NATO. Our base. In our alliances yeah, well. secretly NATO. base. NATO yes, NATO, NATO should be disbanded. In Europe, a major war in Europe. What happens if, in fact, you have Putin continue to go into, into NATO? We have an Article Five attack on one is attack on all. That's not our problem. We want to start the Europe. war. He keeps talking about. Go ahead, let Putin go in and control. Ukraine, and then move on to Poland and other places. Oh, they're going to chill over this now. In. He has no idea what the hell he's talking about. And by the way, I got 50 other nations around the world to support what? Ukraine, including Japan and South Korea. Because Why would he go into this, Poland? This location has a serious threat to the whole world. Well, that was the wrong side of World War II. Yeah, you're on the wrong side of it. 
President Trump, just to follow up, would you support the creation of an independent Palestinian state in order to achieve peace in the region? I'd have to see, no. but before we do that, the problem have we have speak. is absolutely not. Money. No, he so wouldn't. they kill us on trade. I made great trade deals with the European nations. Deflection. Because if you add them up, they're about the same size economically. Their economy is about the same size as the United States. And they were written, no cars, no, what? they don't want anything that we have. But we're supposed to take their cars, their food, their everything, their agriculture. Uh, I changed that. But the big thing Trump I changed is they don't have to pay. And the only reason that he can play games with NATO oh my is because fucking I got to put up millions of dollars. I said, <laughs> and he's right about this. I said, no, I'm not going to support NATO if you don't pay. They asked me that question. Would you guard us against Russia? At a very nope. secret meeting of the 28 uh, states at that time, uh, nations at that time. And I said, no, if you don't pay, I won't do that. And you know what happened? Billions and billions of dollars billions. came flowing in the next day and the next month. Why is he billions? So billions. Now we're in the same position. We're paying he, 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 Because he doesn't want to answer that question. President Trump, uh, I want to ask you about.